Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be making a garden bed using these five gallon buckets. Now I've seen a lot of people use these five gallon buckets in their garden, around their yard, but I don't personally like the look of having these buckets just scattered through my garden. I wanna make a nice stand for these and I wanna make something that actually covers up the buckets a little bit. So you don't even see them, you'll see the plants growing out of them. I'm gonna make a nice stand that covers those up and dresses it up a little bit. Now I'm gonna start out with 16 food grade, food safe buckets. Now you really wanna make sure that these buckets are safe for food and especially make sure that they haven't had some chemicals inside, paint thinner, paint, different things like that that you don't really wanna get in your food. So I'm gonna have these food safe buckets. Then I'm gonna be building the frame out of pressure treated lumber. This is not gonna be in contact with the dirt or soil so there shouldn't be any problem with this. It's gonna stay away from the food and it'll be safe. So I'm gonna build a two by four frame around each of those buckets. I believe that ended up being 11 and a half inches. So 11 and a half inch square for each of those buckets. It will set right down in here and the lip on that bucket keeps it from falling all the way through. Now I'm gonna be using four by fours for the legs. I'm gonna cut these out and it's about two feet off of the ground. So these legs are two feet long. Now this garden bed probably would support itself if it were just four legs, one on each corner, but I'm gonna go ahead and put two in the middle to help support the weight. Now if you wanted to, you probably could just stop right here, but I'm gonna go ahead and take two rows of deck boards and go around the outside of this garden stand or garden bed. This will cover up the buckets almost completely. You'll just see them from the top and once you have plants in here growing, they'll end up covering up a lot of the buckets. You probably won't even see them. So two rows of deck boards will make this look a lot nicer. And then it also helps strengthen up those legs and keep them from breaking off or bending. If I didn't use the deck boards, I would have definitely strengthened up the legs, probably using a two by four, connecting each of the pairs together, and then one long two by four, tying each of those all the way down the length of the garden bed. All right, so that just about finishes up the table for this. Now you could go on and add maybe a two or three inch trim piece around the top just to frame it in a little bit better. Uh, I originally wanted to put three boards going across, but this covers up the buckets. The whole point of the boards was to cover up the buckets so you don't see those as much. You can see just a couple inches at the bottom if you're down along the ground. 
but up here they pretty much disappear so i feel like that accomplishes what i wanted it to do um if you didn't want to go ahead and put these boards across the side you could have stopped with just the bare frame i would recommend putting at least a two by four across each of these legs to tie them together and then one long one going all the way down that way this helps hold the legs from breaking off or the whole table from leaning and tipping over that would just give it a lot more strength now basically whatever you grow in these buckets you're going to want to have drainage holes at the bottom if this is outside at all it will rain and flood your plants and you can't control how much water they're getting you can plant just about anything in this planter, but today I'm going to be planting potatoes. You probably could just use garden soil here depending on what you're growing, but today I'm going to be mixing together topsoil, peat moss, and black cow manure. So I've got that pretty well mixed in, and now it's really soft, and this should drain really well. You don't want potatoes being too wet, so the soil should be perfect. I'm going to start out putting about four to five inches of dirt down in the bottom. All right, so we have four to five inches of soil in the bottom of each of these buckets. Now I'm gonna take those seed potatoes and place those down on top of these. And I'm then gonna bury those potatoes with another four inches on top. Now I'm going to water these and keep watching them over the next week, two weeks, and hopefully I'll start seeing some shoots coming out. Once I start seeing shoots breaking through the soil, I'm going to cover it back up with another three or four inches, get it a little bit closer to the surface, and that will give it more distance for those roots and those tubes to start branching out and creating new potatoes as it grows up through. If you're planting anything but potatoes in here, you would just fill up the soil almost to the top of the bucket. I would recommend leaving an inch or maybe two inches from the top. That way, as you're watering this, it can collect the water on top and slowly soak in instead of just running off the side. All right, now I'm gonna take a little bit of this organic uh, fertilizer and just sprinkle this on top of each of these buckets and then I'll rinse it down and make sure it's good and watered into the soil. Now one of the nicest things about growing a garden in five gallon buckets like this or even building a garden bed to hold all those buckets is it's very movable. The other garden beds I have are a lot harder to move. You end up having to shovel all the dirt. You can move them, but it's not very easy. This is so much easier. I could have easily emptied out all the buckets out of here, then carried it by hand. I have my tractor right here, so just lifted it up, moved it to a temporary home for now. Another nice thing about growing potatoes in buckets is you easily can dump out the bucket of dirt and pull out the potatoes and harvest them without having to do any digging. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoy this one. If you did, hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Stay tuned for future updates on this video to see how the potatoes are growing and then the harvest at the end of this year. Thanks so much for watching guys. I want to give a big shout out to all my supporters on Patreon. Thank you so much for caring about the channel and wanting to see it grow. Your support is helping me to continue making videos like this one. If you're interested in checking out my Patreon and maybe supporting, I'll leave the link in the description of this video. You can go check it out there. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.